All right, we're live, kids. Hello. Welcome. What's up? Welcome back to Curse of Strahd. I'm your dungeon master, Harper Scott. Once again, joined by Zach Little, playing Ashton Svernari, the half elf ranger. Quinn, playing Volanya Svernari, half elf rogue. Long, long lost, reunited twins. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Gosberg Holes, played by Andy. Yeah. Uh, the human, human only paladin. not, yeah, the only human. Uh, there was another human, and schedules, there were, there were other people, <laughs> there were other people involved <laughs> in this game, and schedules don't align, so, uh, and here we are now. Yeah. Um, we will also be somewhat joined by Philip, who is, somewhat, who is off to the kid. side, Listening watching to cartoons. Wa watching cartoons and probably hear a lot of uh, children's noise. show tones and puppy dog pals and stuff like that and squeals. <laughs> so, it. bear with us. Um, <laughs> so last we left off in Curse of Strahd, probably very long ago because we pick up this game sporadically. Like once a year? Yeah. <laughs> um, very sporadically. We... <laughs> Um, it's hard. Uh, I know. It's uh, super hard to get everyone yeah. together. So, uh, you guys have been through a lot. You you tried to rescue Irene Koliana, um, with a lot of mixed success. She's alive. She's okay. She's back in her hometown with her brother. That's not really what anyone wanted because. Hometown is where she was getting attacked in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever, you guys are trying We're to break across the castle now. Uh, you guys had succeeded in raiding Argenvostholt, the the house of the dragon, uh, the home of the Order of Silver, Dra uh, the Order of the Silver Dragon, uh, an ancient order of knights. You ran into some undead men who hate Strahd. And, Zombies. Yeah, one of whom had. Uh, <laughs> The for one of the former leaders of the order had uh, the Sun Sword, an artifact of great power that you guys wanted to have, and Valanya took it and I did it. A, did a chandelier grab smash thing. Uh, you all you all ran for it uh, into the woods to a hideout that Valanya had. You'd also had some strange hints, like you found a burnt-up scrap of letter or something about redeeming the knights in the house or something. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you guys made your and way none back. Of us did anything with it. Yeah. You guys went back to Barovia, um, or the village of Barovia, rather. The country is called Barovia. There's also a village called Barovia. It's Welcome, to Barovia, Barovia. Welcome to Barovia, Barovia! Home of the Barovian <laughs> souffle! Um, uh, so many Barovias. You guys know that there are two more objects that the, the Vistani mystic Madame Eva told you about. The wise woman. Uh, she told you that the the holy symbol of Raven Khan uh, an, an, a holy symbol of great power against over the undead vampires would be found in the Brothers' Tomb, which you took to mean Strahd's brother, Sergei, who has long been dead and buried in the bottom of Castle Ravenloft in the crypts. Uh, the other, the other hint you guys got was for the Tome of Strahd. You must seek out knowledge, uh, and so uh, that one is where is it let me check real quick i want to give you the exact quote like i do every single time uh... ah yes she told you that she saw a dead village drowned by a river ruled by one who has brought great evil into the world that was the conjurer from it uh, you guys don't know where that one is. You haven't asked about it too much. Uh, but you went and got the holy symbol, so you now have two of the items. Pretty good for you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I don't two. even remember what the conjurer thing is. 
you guys you guys haven't asked anyone about it you don't know about it maybe crown village um you have some other side missions like hey check out the wizard of wine's winery and see if the wine is okay or you know try to get irena to to kresk um but for now you guys broke into strahd's basement we did yeah. you made your way into the crypts you found a gun Yep. Yes. You don't really know what a gun is. None of you have ever seen a gun before. Oh, I'm trying to nope. remember this, yeah. But you basically have a gun. Mm -hmm. You also yep. you got the holy symbol of Ravenkind uh, from Sergei's body. Also, Gosberg looted Sergei's body and took his ar armor. Um, Bad Gosberg. It'll be useful. You guys tried to well, leave oh, yeah. uh, back through where you came in, which was the tomb of Strahd's parents. And the magical curtain there uh, doesn't seem to yes. allow you guys to pass through. So yeah. you guys are kind of stuck here mm -hmm. about 100 feet from where Strahd is probably sleeping. <laughs> or at least where he does come to rest. Um, yeah. And that's where we left off, kids. So <laughs> you're in the, you're, yeah, you're in the belly of the beast. Uh, almost literally. Um, what do, what do we want to do? So we're in the basement of the castle. You right? are. You're in the crypts. You're in this area. Oh, Zach can see the map, so I'll show Zach the map. Okay. And we're trying to work on our way up to Strahd? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, or you're you're trying, I think, we're discuss that among out. yourselves. Uh, are we trying to get out? Yes, we need more things. <laughs> okay. You, have, you need one more item that the old Vistani woman told you of. Okay, so we're pretty much like collecting horcruxes at this moment. A little bit. Mm -hmm. We don't well, have all seven. Well, technically, we're, we're not collect, We're not destroying them. We're collecting. Because you've got to destroy the horcruxes. We need more levels. Yeah. <laughs> we need more levels. Yeah, come yeah. on, guys. Let's just go. We'll we're fine. We got it, right? <laughs> we're gods, right? <laughs> What's the worst thing that can happen? Strahdberg's uh, <laughs> not worried. He already died once. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's... Uh, that's um inspiring so all right does anyone have i don't remember the voice so okay, we're like locked um, into this place is what you're telling me isn't that fun anyone i have an idea uh you did not the only window was the way you came in <laughs> and we can't go back out because there's like a, a curtain thing or Magical something. Curtain, yeah. oh. Magical curtain, yeah. Magical curtain. Well, oh shit. I have an idea. So there are and the doors on all the crypts around you, and with your investigations among these hilariously named crypts. Uh, I'm like, speaking of there, investigations. You, you do see a staircase. Okay. That is in the west, west side of the room. We'll say that's west. <laughs> Uh, so I I don't remember the voice for this. So like, if I'm very bad, Use your way back into it. Okay. Uh, I'm like I think Ashton just had my normal voice. I don't think I gave him a voice. So yeah, I think all my um, characters have my voice. I don't think I've given them any voices. <laughs> so I have an idea, everyone. And what, what is if? That? What if? We cobble out around the window. We can't even get to the window. Yes, but we can cobble our way the stone around the window. De I don't think you're understanding our position. No, no, it's totally work. I've watched, I, I've read like so many prison break new books like so many times. I've seen this work. All we need is three years and a spoon. We don't know. Shake redemption our way out of Strahd's castle. We'll survive off rats and rainwater. I'm gonna... I'm gonna kind of, like, put my hand up and just, like, All right. I'm 
going to sneak ahead. Ashton, you can come with me if you want. But Gosford, you make too much noise. Uh, Agreed. I will stay here and start chipping away at the window for the plan we all agree on. No. Uh, so you want so you want us to go ahead? Just scout a bit. Um, is Elo with us? Elo is. Okay. I don't like, but I don't think flying in, in inside a castle will do much. No, know. no, no. It might. It also might create too much attention. <laughs> I mean, I think it do hours. Go, we just go like as far as we can, uh, like before we see an open space, and we get Gosberg to that point, and then we scout again and get Gosberg to that point. Like basically, we're checking to see if the way is clear mm -hmm. um, for Gosberg to not be stealthy. <laughs> We gotta protect our tank. I get it. Yeah. It's like you know that yeah. mission in Breath of the Wild where you have to whistle for the Goron. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like stop, that. Go. Exactly. Stop go. Give him the signal. Yeah. That. That. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Or whatever you would say when you whistle him. Yeah. So where are you going? Yeah. Are we going up the? You said there's like a stair. There's there? a staircase. Staircase. Are we going up the stair? Uh, I just don't see any other exit or entrance from this room. I'm gonna text you a question, Harper. There's always my way. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my phone? I need my phone. I need to text you a question, Harper. Text me the question. Yeah. Well, you're on Discord, right? Why don't you just text them? Oh, that's Discord? that's a well, no, because oh Zach can see. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Problem solved. All right. I'm gonna check on my kid real quick. All right. That, as always, the solution to the problem is puppy pals. Yes. Sorry. Thing is falling. Secret secrets tell no lies. Secret secrets. I do despise. Oh my goodness. Taking so much time. Sorry. Making me have to do things silently. Well, I'm sorry. The silent way. And let me look at the map. Let me look at the map okay. real quick. Um, that's some fun stuff. I also want to find my phone so I can like look at Discord stuff. Yeah. Without yeah. every five minutes. There it is. I found it. Is it safe to come back yet? It is. Okay. Yes. I'm like I don't know if the I don't know if you guys are still copying code. <laughs> So do you want to go up the stairs? There's only yes. one way to go. Yeah, like there's only one other way to go. And we're stealthing. All right, you two can roll stealth checks. Yes. That's a d20, right? Yes. Okay. That's a 19 plus... Yeah, hold on, hold on. 10, so that's a 29. It's a 29 for the laundry. Plus 3, mm -hmm. uh, so that's like 13. 13 for Ashton. <laughs> What'd you get? 29. <laughs> Melania, you I'm like a road. shadow move up the stairs. I Me, mean, I uh, kind of miss a step going Ashton up. Ashton misses a step going up, but with your keen half-elf vision, you two can see in the darkness. 
Gosberg, I think you had to light a torch last time. Or Ashton can have the sun sword tower. Mm-hmm. But he needs to be holding it for it to be <clears throat> lighting the way. This is the thing I told you that's kind of like um, the orc, uh, the elf blade that lights up when there's orcs. Uh, no, the sun sword is just literally a hilt. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's like a act- lightsaber. Yeah, it's like a lightsaber. Um, you activate yeah. it and a blade of light comes out of it. See, when, I, when I hear sun sword, I think like the one from like Breath of the Wild, like the fire sword. Uh, no, or the is, flame sword. This is like shit. I have pictures. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right, what I was so picturing. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? The, the big sword, the big flame sword. Oh yeah, that's a lightsaber. <laughs> that's straight up a lightsaber. It's the sun sword. Yep. All right, so you guys are sneaking up. You get you don't think there's anything detecting you in this stairwell. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you guys can continue calling Gosberg up and yeah. up and up and up and repeating this process. And man, these stairs go a long way. By the way, Gosberg is following their example and attempting to be stealthy. Gosberg is trying but to be stealthy. Is, <laughs> but he is Actually, he's, like, he's like clanking. <laughs> It reminds me of you yeah. trying to stealth, like, be stealthy through, like, a town or whatever. It's like that Benny Hill bit where, like, you guys, like, sneak and you go completely silently and you, like, you, like, wave Gosberg over and he just... Yeah. And you, like, look at him making all that noise and you're like, just like... And he, like, takes oh, off his so armor. He takes off his armor and, like, leaves it behind. So he's it's just Gosberg in his skivvies, and then you sneak ahead. And you it's Gosberg, dude. And then, and then just just in his skivvies, no armor or metal or anything. He starts going again, and <laughs> <laughs> like still making the noise. Um, I like to blame the uh, my lack of stealth on the man behind me clacking coconuts together. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but you guys, so you guys sneak up uh, the stairs and up, up. And up, uh, man. There's a lot of stairs. Uh, you know, this is probably like the worst thing for me because <laughs> I have a leg injury. What bright side? We are getting good leg workouts. Right. <laughs> never miss leg day. This is why and you then... never miss leg day. Yeah. This staircase is specifically why you never miss leg day. Um, yes. So you guys, the spiral staircase finally ends at a five foot wide stone walkway. That, in, that circles the shaft in the center of the tower's highest floor. A 15-foot diameter hole drops into the cold heart of Ravenloft itself. Cold air rushes up out of the shaft, sending a chill to the view. Arrow slits line the walls, and aging beams support a steep cone-shaped roof. One beam and part of the roof have fallen away leaving a gaping hole to the stormy, open to the stormy sky. Time to take to the skies. Go Great. What's How everyone's passive perception? What's like, what? Are, passive. Are, 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 passive perception? So um, that's right there. 19. Oh, 12. 19. Okay. Gosberg? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Same these. <laughs> so, all three of you notice uh, something lurks among the rafters. Ooh. A small, spindly man, not much larger than a child. A flash of lightning <laughs> illuminates its face, which is painting painted like a grinning jack-o'-lantern. Do we have a picture? Uh, that was dim light. You saw it for just a moment. But... <laughs> okay. Ooh. I quickly cast Detect Magic. You cast detect magic. Uh, you do not detect anything magical besides your own belongings. Okay, well that that was a waste, but you know what? I'll keep it up for now. Is there any way I can get up there? Like, can I climb up there? 
Uh, sure, you can you can get up there somehow. You can climb up. All right, I go up. You find some handholds, mm-hmm. and you climb your way up. Uh, how big is this? Size uh, small. Size small, okay. Yeah, it's kinda, smaller than uh, most halflings. All right, can I get on, like, one knee at eye level with it? Yeah. Do I recognize it now? Yes. Okay. Hello. How are you? Keeping the castle entertained? I have to leave again. I have a new mission. It's different. Would you like to come with us? All right. And I hold out my arm. And I get down somehow. Yeah, you just jump down. It's not too big of a fall. Uh, So Valanya speaks with this small man creature uh, and sets them down. And you two now see, it's obvious that you're not looking at a small man, but a mockery of one. Mm -hmm. Uh, As you see it in the light, uh, whether the sun sword is out or a torch from Gosberg, this thing is not made, is not a creature of flesh and bone, but a construct made of dyed leather, stitched and tightly wrapped over an articulated frame. You hear the soft tumbling and clicking of gears. Mm, that thing's not terrifying. I love him. <laughs> there you go, Andy. <laughs> you sound like a, a Cassie <laughs> Lang. I hate He's it. He's so ugly. I hate it. I love him. What was that, Andy? <laughs> I said I hate it. He looks terrible. I think I, I love really- him. I think we need to dispose of it for the. Uh, no. Gosberg, you guys, you recall being asked back in Velaki by the toy maker uh, about a uh, a little man, a little clockwork man uh, that the, the the toy maker wanted, and that he heard resided in Castle Ravenloft. Oh, uh, okay. I think I, I it took me a while, but I think I get what's going on here. So we're supposed to kidnap this thing. I think this that's what's going on. This little jester uh, puppet man looks at you both curiously. So this is my brother. I I introduce my brother Ashton, and this is Gosberg. A weird man. Hello. Yes, I'm indeed a weird man. I died and came back to life. So, now we should get out of here. Uh, Gosberg? Yes. You want to fly? Yeah. I don't think you can fly. Why not? Oh, it hasn't been enough time. Well. Is there another way down from here? How far is it up here, by the way? Break our legs. Uh, So there is the pit that Mm -hmm. goes all the way down, and there is the Mm -hmm. stairs. Was there any other way out of the, the crypt? Not one that was immediately obvious. I jump. What are the odds of me dying immediately? I don't know how many. One hundred percent. Yeah, it sounds like we're pretty high up. Uh, Godsberg has. <laughs> I'm like, I think this is the one time that you're gonna you have think to you can, sixty-nine you think you can head hit points. Do you think you can survive yes. through twenty d six of damage, Andy? <laughs> no. Well, we I rolled 36 if I could, but Jordan pointed out the max velocity. So the worst I can do is 120. 
The best I can do is 20. Let's not risk it. Um, here's a wig. So wait, is it possible for us to use rope in order to get down? I don't think we have that much rope. What do I, what do I have? What does Ashton have in his squad? Let's see, I got a, a Fey answer is three. I got a pipe. I got... A, your fey ancestry is not an item you have. Never mind, never mind, never mind, <laughs> never mind. I got the black pipe that blows stones. Your stone items are also here. I got a wolf whistle. I got a silver necklace. I got ten. Well, sorry, one potion of health. The wand of wonder. Wait, I have a misty step, which lets me teleport thirty feet in any direction, right? <laughs> like, yeah. I, I can just picture this. Like Ashton is just going through his bag. <laughs> well, yeah, you're Andy's. Tr uh, Ashton is trying to figure out what he's has. A a Andy, what did you say? Oh, I have Missy Step, which can teleport me thirty feet in any direction, right? Yes. If I jump and then Missy Step right before I hit the ground, will and then like teleport horizontally, will that stop my forward momentum and allow me to descend to not die, essentially? I would require a dexterity check. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> Piddlewick, how did you it. get up here? You don't know? You see it kind of awkwardly shrugs its wooden shoulders. All right. Do you know of a way to get down that, uh, that wouldn't end in death? It just points to the stairs. Okay. I start going back down the stairs. I was like, maybe there's like a... Maybe there's like a secret door or something like mess downstairs. Or maybe up here. Or I, here. I halt on going back downstairs, and then I turn back around and I start looking for a secret door. Sure, make a, make a perception check. Can I help her since I have that? The Sherlock kind of investigation. Uh, you can make an investigation check if you want. Yeah. Okay. Perception or investigation? Either one. Uh, okay, then that's a 23. I have 26? Yeah, 26. Nice. Yeah, I, I, with the Tasha, Tasha's Cauldron of Everything changes, Ashton is now the world's greatest detective. I'm like literally Sherlock Holmes. Um, nice. He's, he's pretty good investigation. Uh, you guys check out this upper tower pretty perfectly. Um, mm -hmm. One one thing you ascertain because of the shape of this room and from how you saw Ravenloft, you're pretty sure you're in the high tower, the very mm -hmm. tippy top. So there's no rooms to go to from here. And also, you don't think there's anything secret in this room. <laughs> All right. I go back downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, all right. Let's you go. guys make the um, long walk. <laughs> does, our pu does, our puppet, does our puppet friend join us? Yeah, he, he, he absolutely joins you guys. Okay, cool. I'll give him a piggyback ride. Yep. He's piggybacking on the long walk. <laughs> I feel like Elo's like Elo giving the puppet like a weird look. <laughs> like, something weird <laughs> about that thing. It's a right. long uh, walk, but eventually you guys make your way to the bottom. Your legs hurt. So, <laughs> yes. Um, I think Strahd I think Strahd needs a lift mechanism of some sort. An elevator. It's not available to the peasants. <laughs> <laughs> um. You'll be, I, never get higher three feet and then three stories tall. I'm gonna look around in uh in the crypt like for any secret door. Uh it's a big area. Where would you like to start looking? Um Do I have like a bearing of which way would be attached to the castle? Yes, because the other side, the east wall, 
is sheer cliff face. You imagine the west wall. So I go over to the west side. Right, and I look you, on the ground you, you in the... Checks. Yeah. Uh, where did my... Oh, there it is. Um, I'm going to look in... Oh, that's an 18 on the die. Um, investigation or perception? Yep. Either one. Okay. So 18 plus 9 is 27. 27. Okay. With that check, uh, you ascertain there are no secret entrances, but there are four crypts, four tombs, on the walls. Mm. On the wall. Yeah, maybe it's In a, that direction. Maybe it's like a modern I, art. Uh, so the four, the, the four that you see, let me, let me number them out, or read the, the descriptions on top of them. So the one closest, uh, the, mo the southernmost one, reads... Sir Jeanwald the Trickster. The joke was on him. <laughs> the next one, which is closer to the stairs, uh, is... Where is it? Ivan Ivliskovich, champion of winter dog racing. The race may go to the swift, but vengeance is for the loser's relatives. On the other side of the stairs, on that wall, is King Troisky, the three-faced king. And then the final one, the one farthest from, the, the northernmost one, closest to Sergei's crypt, um, herein lies the ones who walk the path of pain and torment. Oh. <laughs> that that, that to, is the epitaphs on top of the crypt. I'm going to open. Can I open some of them? You can open can whichever open? one you want. All right. I'm going to open the first one. With people's help. Yeah. Uh, the southernmost one. Wait. Yeah. So with these tombs, right? Yes. These crypts. Yeah. Uh, they're on the wall, I assume, or like you like you said, they're on the wall, right? They are. Are are there any like nameplates? Nameplates? Like anything to indicate who's in those tombs? Yes, the epitaphs that I just read. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That yeah. said the Sorry, names I... of the people, like Sorry, Yarnwall, think... the trickster, and Ivan Miskovich. And then the last one was like, "Here lies what?" Yeah, the last oh. one was, "Here lies those who walk the path of pain and torment." Told you. Mm -hmm. there, there's, an, there's some <laughs> torment. That's torment. That's one of the ones that's locked in the path. Okay. So, well, that one sounds like a door, if I had to guess. By the way, because that one—that's the only one that doesn't it, have a name. Did we? Did we see Strahd's? Oh yeah, you saw Strahd's crypt. Yeah. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna open that one. Strahd's crypt in the very south. No, no, the the one that says pain and torment. Pain and torment. All right. Let's see what's behind door, door number four. Pain torment. Uh, oh, we're good. All right. So you guys, you open up that one. Uh, you with with Ashton. Dude, we're we're, I, we're we're unironically just gonna come across Strahd. I just, <laughs> like we're just gonna be like we're just gonna unironically come across this throne room and be like, oh, sorry. Uh, we're just looking for the exit. The throne room is upstairs. Door. Um. <laughs> uh. You guys, with, with Ashton and Gosberg's help, you open up this crypt. And inside, there is not a crypt. Uh, you see a hewn tunnel uh, that runs a little bit past your dark vision, actually. So you don't see what's at the other end of it. Yeah, it's cut into the pillar stone of Ravenloft itself. Its surface is, its surface is slick. And its ceiling is barely six feet high. A lingering fog limits visibility to a few feet. Um, I start going. Start walking down the tunnel. Yes. You two fall. I mean, yeah. You're on. You're on Bologna's heels. So this right. tunnel, how large? How wide is it? Is it wide enough for like only one person to go in at a time? No, I think. I think. It's ten feet wide. Oh, okay. Okay. So you could. Because if it, yeah. 
if it was the only if it was like one person at a time, we probably needed to plan out our, you know, descent or ascent. So you guys begin walking through the tunnel. Mm-hmm. The fog thick in your in your vision. And as you guys are walking, uh, a, you are walking and suddenly the floor gives way <laughs> under you all and becomes a ramp. And you all begin sliding downwards. Oh, we just came across a Scooby-Doo trap. You've been Scooby-Doo! <laughs> um, so you all begin sliding down this marble chute. Uh, and it, the floor resets after you guys go down. You fall into a chute of par- polished black marble and slide into the darkness. Whee! <laughs> you guys are all screaming at the you know, this is this is probably gonna be a bad time. But Josberg is wearing metal, so just imagine the sound of metal on polished marble. Hey, <laughs> sparks coming out of your your rear. Yep. You guys try to stop yourselves, but it it proves too slippery. Um, and do you guys still see us? Yeah, we're fine. Yes, okay. we see our face literally right there, Zach. <laughs> well, I don't know if it came up. That's no, that's how everyone sees us. Um, so you guys emerge with a sploosh. A sploosh. You know, I'm not gonna I don't want to be that guy, but if we haven't alerted anyone yet, we've definitely alerted them now. You find yourselves uh so Yeah, you find yourselves in a mold covered uh, so the ceiling above you is covered in mold. Uh, the water you are currently in, you guys actually probably went underwater for a moment and come up, because <gasps> the water is five feet deep, mm-hmm. and you find yourself in a cell blocked by iron bars. <laughs> you find yourselves in a dungeon. Oh, Okay. Well, who's good at picking locks? <laughs> hey, um, I'm gonna. Do we have to swim around in here? Uh, you do not. You can move. You're you're all tall enough that your heads are peeking oh, wait, above we're, we're, the we're, water. We're, I think uh, in here, so we submerge in water, right? You you can stand in it, but your uh, heads are. It's probably actually easier to swim a bit. Okay. It's like, it's like that one where like you're in a swimming pool and you're kind of just. Boop. Yeah, you're you're on your toes. You're on your toes. You can still walk comfortably if you wanted to. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna make sure Piddlewick's okay. Piddlewick is completely submerged, but appears fine. <laughs> okay. He actually, actually, he seems to float after a moment because he's made of wood. Yeah. You see, you see his little head pop up. Yeah, his little jester hat is a little bit askew, and he. Correct. <laughs> Eli kind of just shakes her feathers. He's doing the dead man's float. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like. He opens his mouth and there's just like a squirt of water. My headphones fell off. Hold on. Uh, but yeah, you guys see outside your cell, uh, there are more cells in this very dimly lit tavern. Uh, Gosberg, if you had a torch, it's out now. Um, oh, yeah, no, I, I assume so, yeah. Is the sun, do you want to take out the sun sword or have it out? I would have it out if it's possible. <laughs> I'm like, I can just kind of <laughs> kick my feet. Yeah, it's like burning the water for a moment, and as you have it above, you clearly see the way lit. Um, you don't see much outside of your cells, your cell, but you do see the hallway out there, which is also filled with water. It appears to have a dim light coming from one of the other parts of this hallway outside your cell, but you can't see much without actually... I think, I think Strahd needs to call... Uh, going in, out of your cell. Foundation, he needs to get some foundation repairs. Is there, like, a door that we can, like, pick a the lock gun? Or I can? No? Uh, there is a barred door uh, which you can right. attempt to pick. I attempt to pick. 
You have disadvantage because you're inside the cell. Okay. So first roll was a 13 on the die. Second was a... Okay, good. That's a 7, not a 1. But but let's see. What do I have? What are thieves tools? Um, so Valanya plunges underwater, pulls out a, some lock picks, and begins trying to pick the lock as best as she can. And then it's dexterity? Yes, dexterity and plus proficiency. proficiency. Okay, so plus four plus three, so plus seven. So seven plus seven, 14? 14. 14 fails. We're not able yeah, to open up this, this lock. All right. Um, Dang it, how, need more wide bar apart, how wide apart are the bars? Not wide enough for you to step through. <laughs> no, I figured not, but like how wide? But what about our puppet friend? The bars are spaced four inches apart. Okay. And they are one inch thick. So, okay, so Piddlewick couldn't fit. Um, okay, I'm going to try one more time. All right, and disadvantage, right? Yep. All right, so that was a 17. Whoa, whoa sorry. Um, and that's a 10. So 10 plus 7, 17. 17 fails. Dang, some you again, locks. trying to awkwardly position your lockpick from inside this rusty cell door. Yeah, I'm just kind of like... Find yourself unable to correctly get it in. After about two minutes All of right. trying. Is there a way I can swim underwater to see if there's... Well, I don't even know how I even have like that kind of vision, but to see if there's like... Maybe like a... Not like a switch, but... Uh, or some maybe sort of if secret. there's like... Or maybe if there is a switch to drain the water. <laughs> at least at least save us of that. Uh, you can make an investigation check. Sure. Um... So as far as the other cell, um, uh, yeah, like, like twenty-seven. The only secret door to... is the chute you came down. <laughs> okay, he's like, I'm gonna be real. Um, no, that's the only one. That's the only secret door we can't, and we can't. I'm assuming we can't go back up because it's a slide. So yeah. yeah. Is it like the? <laughs> is, that, is it like the whole? Is it like the whole place is flooded, or is it? it just yeah, like, yeah. Out, even like outside of your cell, it appears water? flooded. Damn it, Strahd. I can fix your foundation. No. Wait, Cosberg. Yes. You have missed these steps. Yes, I do. I was just about to bring that up while thinking. So do it. Oh, right, yes. And I missed these step my way out of the bars. So you're on the other side now, Cosberg? Yes. All right. You, you I should be, at least. Yeah, you magically in a puff of mist, the water kind of displaces itself around you guys and as Gosberg leaves and then so there's a splash as he reappears. Gosberg, it's a strange sensation because a lot of the water didn't come with you as you went and then you instantly got wet again. <laughs> um, but in a puff of mist, Gosberg, using his magical powers, is on the other side of the bars. Um, I'm on the other side of the bar now. Find I the be keys or something, or, or at least a way to drain the fucking water. Or I don't know. Just find something. Yes. Uh, I am going to duck my head underwater and then look around underwater to see if I can't find anything. All right. So, Galsberg, you see, uh, you are in this room that has appears to have six cells, a hallway that has six cells. Uh, one of the cells is dimly lit. Oh, oh, eight cells. I miscounted. Um, underwater, you do not see any, any, anything in the hallway. There is no, right. so, there's no sign of anything in the hallway. Okay, uh, so then I will. And okay, so I'll stand up and I will start looking around for anything that looks, I guess, 
almost broken. Anything I could basically use, anything I could like use to get into the other cells, I guess. Because I'm on because there's you said there's six cells, right? There are eight. Eight cells. There are eight cells in this in this hallway. Uh, they okay. all look similarly locked. Okay. And it's dimly lit, so I can't really see anything, right? Uh, actually, uh, it is dimly lit from the cell that Ashton and Valanya are in because they have the sun sword. And oh, then, right, right. Uh, th it, there is dim light coming from the cell closest to what you can see to be a uh, an elevated point going out into a different hall. Okay. One of the one of the closer cells appears to have some sort of light source. Uh, Got it. You also see in one of the nearby cells there is the rotting corpse of a male half elf clinging to the bars, uh, dressed in leather armor. Detect magic Relax. is still up, isn't it? Yes. Is what is the rotting corpse a zombie? Who is uh, currently no, attempting to break out? That you, you do detect that that corpse has something magical on it. I'd say we're okay, at the we'll tail end. Okay, we'll grab that later, right? Now. Yeah. Okay. Right now, uh, do you think you, I should grab that now or later? I feel like later should be... Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just letting you know what you see. With your magic vision. That is, that is, is going to go away in a bit. Stagnant? Huh? Is the water stagnant? Is the water stagnant? It is or stagnant. is it moving a bit? Okay. So it's not flowing in from somewhere? No. Okay. And your your magic sense detects something in that room with the glow coming from it, the dim glow. Okay, uh, I'll check that one first. All right, oh, you walk the in the water towards that in the darkness, uh, and you see in the cell one of the cells closest to uh, the next hallway. There is something glowing brightly under the water, enough to but it's distorted in such a way that. It creates dim light. It seems like a you can see a glowing blade ben, uh, beneath the water near the back of the cell. Got it. So, hmm. I'm trying to think right. I'm trying to think right now. It's kind of hard to think. I'm I'm kind of tired at the moment. It's been a long day. I'm gonna uh, try one more time to get the lock open. Keep trying. Okay. So. I uh, so how so the the dim light is where again if it like uh, can I reach the dim light using my hands? You cannot reach the the blade with your hands. It's in the back of the cell, and these bars are very close together, four inches. Of that. Got it. Okay, cool. You have a big meaty gauntlet uh, blade. Hand. Got it. So it's a blade, and it's oh, kind of shell. Oh. I have an idea, but I need to check my but I need to check, check my spells really quick. Give me a second. Um, Missy, step into the, so I got, the cell, and then you're out of spells. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Uh, what was that, Quinn? Nineteen. Nineteen total. Yes. You fail. You are still locked in this cell. Can I try again? Huh. How rusted are these uh, bars? Yeah, the thing ask? is, like, how how many times before my lock picks break? Um, you think it's probably with enough strength, anything is possible, Gosberg? If you wanted to try and, and break the door off. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't want to try to break the door off, but maybe like I want to try to see if I can't jiggle one of the bars loose. Uh, you think the bars They're are on there pretty sturdy? They're four inches apart, so we would. Okay. Really Iron bars. Have, like eight inches. Okay. No, thank you. I'm okay. Coffee. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bar of uh, the uh, cell with the uh, elf, the rotted half elf. Mm -hmm. And you say there's a thing on him, right? Something magical on him? It is, yeah, there is. What is it? Or is it uh, hidden at the it's, moment? It appears to be in a pouch on his belt. 
under the water in his side of the cell he's clinging to the bars and again these bars four inches apart you can't even really get your hand in there that good to get anything okay. in or out um okay so hmm question to... uh how sturdy are is the crystal dagger pretty sturdy like could it be broken if i put too much pressure on it i mean depends what kind of pressure you're putting on like what are you talking about what are your what is your plan uh i want to stick it right in between like the the door bar and like the other bar and then just like like right here and then just like lean it until the door opens Uh, if you want to try to force the door open, you can make a strength check. Okay. I would like to see if I can't force this door open with a strength check. Go for it. Ooh. Okay. Uh, that's a 13. All right, Belanda, you are not strength. able to pry the door open. This is a straight strength check, right? What was that? This is a straight strength check, correct? This is a straight strength check. Okay, cool. So that's going to be 16. 16 does not succeed. Okay. Uh, uh, hmm. Gosberg, come over here. Help us get out. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm coming, coming. Gosberg slowly okay. swimming over. Comes to the bars. What you want to do, guys? So I'm going to do like a thing where I hold on to one bar and then like like push with my feet against the other one because we're underwater. So I can, I'm fairly buoyant, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to hold on and like pull against okay. the door. And hopefully Gosberg will pull and like, you know, do the same thing, but like the opposite way. All right. So do you want to make separate strength checks or one of you make a strength check with advantage from the help act? Uh, Gosberg, what's your strength? Uh, I have 18. Okay. Gosberg's going to make both with advantage. <laughs> I mean, you probably need to explain it to Gosberg first. Because he doesn't know what the heck's going on. He just, yeah. Okay, well, I'll explain. I'll explain. And... Okay. Got it. Do all the work. Oh, okay. Right. So and I, I help. Gosbring's going to take the bar and then he's going to try to pull. Gosbring, you begin trying to pull yeah. the door off its hinges. Okay, so uh, I'll roll twice. Mm -hmm. so the first one's going to be a six. That's good. Uh, and the second one, that's going to be a 14. 14 is not going to do the trick. Plus? Plus? Four, well, 10 plus 4. Oh, okay. Last one was a 2 plus 4. Is the you guys have run into an adventurer's greatest enemy, a locked door. Is the gunpowder in the gun wet? It's in a pretty water, it's in a waterproof pouch. All right, I take it out and I kind of like pour you it in. You also don't know how gunpowder works. Okay, well. Can I make a check to figure it out a bit? We can make a figuring out alien technology check, sure. Okay. What am I rolling? Wait, I want to look at something really quick. Okay, it's a 14 on the die. What am I rolling? Intelligence. Intelligence. Okay, so 14 plus 1, so 15. 15? Mm-hmm. Uh, 
All right, that is considered a success. All right. So I'm gonna put one of the, I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna do it all. Then I'm gonna aim at the uh, hinge. Is there a so hinge? So what you learn with that, hold on. Oh. Complexity of the item. So you got one success on figuring out how this strange powder works, which is one integral part of this strange scepter and pouch and horn that you have. Um, or the, 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 the powder is actually in a drinking one. You, you imagine with that check, the powder is explosive or volatile in some way. You have figured out all that right. part. Yeah, um, that's all I need. Like uh, I said, the weirdest thing, though, is the hinge underwater. The hinge is uh, one of the Not most... Not the upper one. Not the upper oh, one, right. Okay. right? So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of powder on the upper one. I'm just going to, like, hold myself up and just, like, as little as I can. Okay. Well, not as little as I can, but like enough that I think it would blow the hinge apart if I were to ignite it. There's nothing really holding it in place besides water. <laughs> besides oh. being wet and sticky. Wait, what do you mean? The powder that you were pouring on it. Oh. What? So you're going to pour some powder on the hinge? Yes. Okay, you do so. And then I'm going to ignite it. With what? Uh, that's a good question. Do I have a Dungeoneer's pack? Because I don't have, it doesn't say that I have anything. Oh, wait, here it is. Uh, I have an Explorer's pack, which means I have a flint, right? Yeah. So I'm going to use a flint. I just thought of something, wouldn't we all be dead just because of Gosbert's lightning hair? No, you're fine. It's magical. <laughs> <laughs> One hinge on the cell door is down. I will say. Alright. Okay. Okay. So Gosberg. Try. Well, I, I actually have an idea. So okay. I so after seeing what she's doing, Gosberg is going to dunk his head underwater, and he is going to try to break the other hinge using his weaponry. Uh, all right. Make the an attack roll with disadvantage. Cool. Okay. That's going to be a two on the dice, so I assume that's not going to do anything. You're trying to swing your hammer, but unfortunately, being underwater uh, mitigates the effect. I am going to pop my head. I'm just going to tell Vanya, damn water resistance. Why couldn't I be, have I been born slick in oil? Then I would have been able to sl just simply slide over the water like a graceful gazelle. Okay, and then I just um, I just go back to pushing the door and hopefully. All right, you want to make more strength checks? Yeah. All right, I will say the DC is lower due to the lack of one of the hinges. Uh, okay. do, do you want this to be Gosberg doing it with advantage again, or? Um. Are we yes. I was say I got to do something for it. I got to do like thirty seconds. All right. Okay. Ashton, would you like to try and pry the doors off? Sure, why not? With advantage. Can you hold me, please? Yeah. Are you, do you want to help Ashton? Yes. Because he is stronger. He rolled a, he got, he got a seven. <laughs> is that total? Total. Oh, damn. <laughs> Galsberg is not helping. Okay. He's watching. Complaining about not being graceful like a gazelle. I'm gonna try the lock one more time. You're gonna try the lock one more time. 
disadvantage. Is it wait, is this like in like you know Skyrim or whatever where like she can only try it so many times before she runs out of like picks or something? Or? No, she has one pick and it's sturdy. It's just a very difficult lock, and you guys are inside the cell. Natural one. We'll just be here all night. On, I'm just gonna keep on. trying. Okay. All right, I'm back. Okay. 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 So, uh, you need me to roll, correct? Uh, you uh, can try again. Another yeah. nineteen. Which nineteen total? Yeah. Failure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gosberg um, okay. with advantage again as Ashton is trying to help you tear off the bars while Volanya tries to pick the lock. Okay, cool. No, got Andy. Give me 22. Uh, okay. 22. Oh. With the reduced DC uh, from one of the hinges being blown off by gunpowder, uh, Gosberg, you managed, you and Ashton managed to. Tear the door off the cell. Yay! Yes, and now we got to do that seven more times. I uh, I swim out and I look around. Um, Buzzer glitch door next. Uh, well, for one, there's something there's a blade on that cell over there, and I point to the one with the dim light coming out of it, and there is something magical on that little rotting fellow over there, and I point to the okay. rotting half elf. I go to the rotting half elf cell, and I'm gonna try and pick that one. All right, but I don't have a disadvantage, right? With no disadvantage because you're outside the cell this time. I just thought of something, right? So. And of course, I get a natural twenty on this one. <laughs> It still you know takes what? you one minute to do it because that's how long it takes for these. Yeah, that's it. It's taking you one minute for every single lock picking attempt. Uh, but you do get okay. it over. All right. Once that's done, I move on to the other. So All right. The door is open for you to loot, Gosberg. The It swings open and the half elf kind of the body listlessly comes with the door a bit. No one needs to know, to dead. Like no one needs to know, dead friend. I tell the dead body as I take the pouch okay. uh, off it. Yeah. That's a you, 17. Uh, 17 does not succeed. Uh, try again. But as, as Gosberg loots this guy's body, Bologna spends a minute or two picking the next lock. Okay. This body is a. Bologna? Bologna, I have an idea. Oh, what? sorry. So. Um, what'd you get? 26. 26. Okay. So you're working on that and Gosberg yells at you. <laughs> yes. So why don't you use the sword, the magic sword, in order to like break the bars open? What magic what the magic, magic sword that blows that we have? That's not mine. Yes, but you know, still you're technically half of Ashton. So I don't think that that would work. Don't tell me that I do. Don't, don't tell me that twins don't have a psychic link that people don't know about. I know this. Does and does talk about you guys one. having a psychic link? Oh, because we can read. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm I'm it's 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 it might be a dream. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I check on Piddlewick when I open. He's still floating. Uh, you're working on the lock still, Gosberg. So what you find on that, uh, that body, you find he has a sheathed longsword, uh, which is normal, mundane, two belt pouches, uh, one contains five gemstones that are 50 gold pieces each. Okay. So you can write down five gemstones, 50 gold pieces each. Got it. The other has a potion. Okay, what does this potion look like? The potion looks like... Something like this? Yeah, it looks like that. Ah, it's great. <laughs> it's the po it's the poison for Cusco. Cusco's poison. Cusco's poison. The poison killed Cusco. Um... <laughs> So it looks like 
It is blue and bubbles and steams as if it is as if it is boiling. Oh, that that's fun. Yeah, I'll, I'll pocket that. I'll put it in the bag of holding. Uh, I'll raise the bag of holding out of the water first, and then put the potion. Uh, All right, you, you do so. Uh, you can put blue boiling potion. Okay, I'll put BVP on there. Please just put the potion part, at least BB potion. Uh, I just and thought, then, okay, I, you know what? I just thought of something kind of uh, just thought of something hilarious. Imagine if we were imagine if we found found someone who could make those tiny glass balls, right? We fill those balls up with holy water and then shoot them at straw. I mean, is that a terrible idea? Uh, so in parentheses, just in case we forget about this potion, Gosberg. Yeah. Put in parentheses K74. C. Because that way that will tell me what the hell this potion is in okay, the future. So just, okay, so just to uh, just to clarify, K as in uh, K, K as, as in kangaroo, kangaroo 74. seven four C as in cat. C as in cat. Yes. Got it. Uh, Valanya, you open up the other cell handily. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you see the glowing blade that can be seen beneath the water in the back of the cell. Mm-hmm. Um, is it like stuck in the ground or something? It is not stuck in the ground, no. Okay. I go and I pick it up. All right. What kind of sword is it? It is a short sword that is glowing. Okay, yeah, I pick it up. Yeah, you pick it up, and you get a sense, a feeling from this sword. Uh, and you know inherently it is meant to fight evil. Okay. Okay, so uh, who wants to pocket that? I pocket it already. No, I mean, like, who wants to use it, like, you know, later on? Me. Oh, okay. I thought you were just carrying it. Okay, my bad. No, Ashton has a sun sword. And Gosberg, I don't know. Has his personality, I know. Do you use short swords? Uh, No, but I am very flamboyant. I believe that is as valuable as a short sword. No, no, no. I'm just wondering, like, if you used short swords, I might give it to you. I mean, I've used one once. He used it a lot against the Giants. Yeah. Yeah. So that's about it. But no, I I I mean if you want it. Nowadays he's wielding a hammer again. Okay. Hammer time. I got lightning hair. I think that kind of trumps everything. Yes, it does. So wait, are we I'm sorry, where 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 are we what do we do now? You guys are currently in these cells. In these cells. You were picking the locks. Uh you got the interesting things that you guys saw. So can we not Leave or are we still you can trapped? leave, you can leave, go right there. Yeah, they just want we, to leave. We leave. <laughs> Bro, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Okay, so we got the loot, let's get out of here. And yeah. uh, so you uh, might I'm be able to attune to that sword with time and learn some more. I'm okay. oh, by the way, I'm going to grab the little puppet man and just like put him on Melania's shoulders so he doesn't get wet anymore. All right, yes. Because I yep. assume because he's shorter than everyone, he's just swimming. He was floating. Yeah, he's just like doing he's the floating. little kid thing where he has. I feel his like he was just kind of like chilling like there, standing laughing, on my shoulders, doing his thing. Pulls yeah. out little sunglasses <laughs> and a beer, um, you know. So you guys, just imagine. Uh, you guys want to go out to the dungeon hall? Yes. Yeah. All right, you step out into the dungeon hall. Uh, you yeah. open a big old door, and you see the stairs. Uh, there are some stairs that go down like... Oh, no, there's some stairs that go up. And you see across the I was going to say, some... if they go down, then they're underwater. Yeah, they go they go up, so they're slightly out of the water, uh, which fills the arched hallway before you. The water surface is like dark mirrored glass, disturbed only... 
by the occasionally by the of a drop falling from the ceiling. Um, you see there is another iron door on the other side of you. And as you guys step out into the hallway, uh, you see to your right in front of you, there's another down some stairs, another iron door. To your immediate left, there is a staircase that goes up. And to your right, there is another chamber, a larger chamber. Okay, so... Um, are we underwater still? Or, uh, like, trudging in water or anything? You are still trudging in water, but it's a little bit... Shallow? Uh, a little more shallow? Now, now the water is only three feet deep. Oh, okay. Okay. So well, the question like, is, is the water three feet deep because the floor is getting higher? Or because we're getting higher, or is the water three it's feet deep because you went up the floor lower? Oh. You went up a couple of steps. Right. Um, Do I detect water. anything with my detect magic while, 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 while we're here? What was that? Actually, no way. How long does it take magic last? Like 10 minutes? Uh, yes, and you climbed down a lot of stairs, so I'm going to say that's gone now. Yeah, okay, that's fair. From that big okay. staircase. <laughs> um, do you want to go to the stairs? Do you want to go to the, up, the, the big room? Do you want to go to the iron door? What do you want to do? I think we should check out the iron door first, at least. See if that's trapped, and if it is, I say we have waited until we could come back to it. I will check for traps on that door, the iron. Investigation. That's a four. Seems fine. Okay. I open it. All right, try. All right. This rusty iron door, you uh, you make an athletics check to try and open it because it is underwater. Okay. Um. Should have required one for the other one, but we'll say you guys just did it already. <laughs> so I already described the damn hallway. Yeah. That was another natural one, so that's a. Melania can't quite right get the door open as it's yeah. submerged halfway in water. Would one of you guys open like try door. to open the door, or would Melania like to try again? I would not like to try. <laughs> I would rather have somebody with strength or athletics try well, it. Might as well. I mean, uh, where can we find those? Try again. That's, that's my question. What do you Roll mean? on the table. Mm. Make again a joke. Because I don't want to open the floor because I see something bad. Athletics. Or plus six. Isn't uh, it? So that's your saving throws. Oh, okay. So athletics is going to be here. Oh. Oh, athletic. So yeah, plus three. Okay, so yeah, 17. So with the 17, Ashton pries open the door through the water. Yeah. Water sloshes around you guys. Oh, there's water in the door. Cool. Or behind the door. Lovely. Yeah, it's this entire area is filled with water. I and you see... Oh, baby. You see in the... in Behind this door is a mold-covered ceiling. That hangs three feet above the still black water that fills the dungeon corridor. The water is five deep, ten foot square cells, their entrances blocked by iron bars lined both sides of the hall. From one of the cells, you hear a gruff voice ask, Who's there? Uh, um. Not me. <laughs> Hello! My name is Gosberg. Me and my friends are here to steal stuff. Actually, we're looking for the exit. Um, ignore my friend, he's drunk. Please, rescue me. Who are okay. you? I can help you. Who are you? You don't actually see this guy. He's actually at the far end of this hall. Mm -hmm. I'll go down there. Yeah, you go down there, and you see... Uh, with your keen vision, uh, this man, dark-skinned, okay. brooding, 
Chisel features. Played by Idris Elba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Idris Elba. Who are you? My name is Emil Torinescu. I live in Velaki, but I was chased by dire wolves to the castle. Why did you leave Velaki? I, I went out to, to gather, to gather food. Why did you end up in prison? I found my way to, I ended up at the castle and I was placed here by the servants of the, the Dark Lord. Inside check. Okay. Okay, I don't think my insight's that good. Oh, it is. It's so 19. Okay. Alert your eyes, Zachary. All right. Um, insight is not a complete lie detector. Right. I feel like that uh, should be said. You get that he does truly want to be rescued. And that he is most likely a prisoner of Strahd. There might be, you get the sense that there's more to that story. Alrighty. Well, not, well not your answer. Right, let me allow to see if I can't help this man out. No. Okay. Sir, you are not in a position to lie if you want help. I'm not saying you're completely lying, but you're hiding something, I can see. No? How deep is the water? Make, uh, three feet. Or no, you're three back feet. five feet again in this yeah. cell. So you're all going to move. All right. Sure. So, uh, oh, wait, how tall is Ashton again? It's written down on the other page. That one. He's six gonna, one. Uh, yeah. I'm tall. I'm going to uh, rest my my uh, like arm against the bars and kind of flick and retract, flick and retract. Yeah, that's right. You Try and intimidate. Knives. Okay, make an intimidation check. Okay. Uh, what is my? Okay, so that's just a flat sixteen. He looks at you all with. Kind of weighing his options. Mm -hmm. You want the truth? Yes. I'm here because I seek the death of Kirill Stoyanovich, the Do leader of the me? werewolves who serve Straw. And why? I feel like this should be like a big moment for me too. Our werewolves, my. Yeah, you do kind of hate werewolves. Yeah, so that's why I was like, I like this guy. <laughs> me. I like this why? guy. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, I ask him why. Because he stands in my way. For? What does he stand in the way of? At the moment, he stands in the way of my freedom and being able to be reunited with my wife. Oh, that's sad. I'm gonna free him now. <laughs> <laughs> the objection? That was bluffing. I just want to be funny. The werewolves of Barovia, they take children and force them to fight to the death. The winner becomes one of the pack. I wish to put an end to this. Are you a werewolf? 
<laughs> I don't like the silence. I'm, so, I'm starting to retract my. Uh, my <laughs> now. Uh, I'm starting not to like this guy now. Well, <laughs> I am not sure. Mario, three him. Wait, what? <laughs> You cut out like a little bit at the I, I am, am not your blank. Enemy. What? Uh, Who's not sure? We have the. Uh, I don't know, I man. Like Werewolves seem to be a loose cannon if there's a full moon. Uh. Gosberg, I know you have zone truth. Yes, I do have that. I also only have one spell slot, second level spell slot. I also uh, have a very good feeling about this man. What does my evil eye let me do? Your evil eye allows you to charm person. Uh, speak. No, no, what is it? Let me check. Charm person, hold person, and animal friendship. Uh, I'm gonna try and charm person him. Okay. He will make a saving throw. Yes. I won't look. Against what? Against your DC. What is? Which is? Which would be like a spell DC, but charisma based. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, so DC is 8 plus proficiency plus modifier, right? Plus, per plus charisma modifier, that's right. So it's an 11. All right. So that is a wisdom save. Just double check. You attempt to use the evil eye on this man, mm -hmm. trapped in a cage. And as he fights against it in your mind, the effect of the evil eye takes place. Uh, and you are blinded. It didn't work. It okay. did not work, and you are blinded for about six seconds. Yep. Dang, you literally just do I know, banged yourself. Do I know why it didn't work? Because he succeeded. Okay. That is the effect when you use it and it fails. No, I know, but like, okay, here's my reasoning, is our are, are lycanthropes humanoids? Or... Yeah, he is a humanoid. It okay. would have worked. It would have worked. Save. Okay. I'm watching you. And the second you betray us, you will die. And I unlock the door if I can. All right, you can make a deep stools check. Yes, it's free here. And Gospel will punch the door in with oh, something right. enthusiasm. Okay. Um, that was a uh, twenty-five. Twenty-five succeeds. Yeah. You open up the door to the cell. Yes, my fist has saved him. Philip is just having the time of his life in the background. Yeah. What is Philip doing? That's not Philip. Um, oh, sorry. That's my bad. Someone's having the time of their life in the background. 
Uh, there's more than one baby present. Uh, mm. We're having a baby party. I'm just kidding. Oh, or not. Baby Palooza. <laughs> we, have a, we have a friend's baby over. What is the baby party? All right. So um... he steps out of the cell. Uh, you see his clothes I... are shredded and he is soaked from head to toe. Uh, do I have silver bullets? Silver? Yeah. No, but you have a magic they... sword. I'm like, I think I have. Our magic weapons still hurt werewolves. Yeah. Or hurts no, werewolves. I know. You both have magic just... weapons. Do I have anything silver on? I have 50 silver pieces. No, but you have a glowing sword. No, no, no. You don't have anything I silver, no. I have the rank of a silver arrow. Never mind. That's not what I... I'm not uh, going to try and... Never mind. It's not. So the sword actually, even in your possession, unless you cover it up, is always glowing. Bright light mm-hmm. in a 15-foot radius, or dim light for and dim light for an additional 15 feet. Okay. Um, I'll keep it out for now, and I'll just kind of walk around and make sure that we're not missing anybody. All right, yeah, you check the other cells. Um, it's hard to see below the surface of them because of the black, inky nature of the water. Uh, mm-hmm. You see, uh, yeah, there appears to be some skeletal remains in one of the cells. Uh... There's another skeleton in another cell. There appears to be uh, pounded into the roof of another cell is a rusted iron pulley uh, tied to one of the cross beams of the barred door and dangling upside down is a man flabby and stout of build in tight-fitting leather armor. And his boots are bound with rope just below the pulley and his fleshy hands are tied behind his back. And his head is underwater. He is not moving. Is he? he's yeah, fine. he's dead. Okay. He's, he's fine. He's probably just resting. <laughs> he's sleeping. He's just sleeping. He's fine. He's just... Um, I'm going to walk the other way and just go back to the stairs. The stairs up. You guys go back out to the hallway. Uh, Emil follows you guys, and you are yet again faced uh, with the choice of open room or staircase. I say open room first. We should probably check everything out on this floor before going up, before going ahead, because we don't know if they'll trap us again like before. True. And uh, I'm gonna whisper to Piddlewick. Keep an eye. Oh, I forgot about our little puppet friend. Yep. You're just gaining allies left yeah. and right, guys. They're all going to betray you. <laughs> I, spec- I, don't tr- I don't trust the werewolf man. The werewolf uh, man goes, Piddlewick, now! Formation Alpha! <laughs> they just do. I, I, you guys are going to get five whole allies and they're going to gin you for us. You're gonna, they're going to be that coordinated. Yeah. They're going to have like a pose they all do together and you're going to be like, fuck. We can't <laughs> take these guys all. Look at that coordination. They have a theme song and everything. We, can't, we don't. We don't have a theme song. Like we're gonna lose. If They're we, the protagonists. I, if if we, if we would have a theme song, I would hope it would be like in like one of those eighties or nineties sitcom theme songs, like the, those openings. Now I gave us a theme song for a minute when I was making these more just YouTube videos, and it's dark and spooky. Um, Wait, I just, you guys I just, go to I the open room. Yes. Yeah? Ask. I have to ask if. If that actually happens, who would be Ginyu? Or not Ginyu, who would be Goldo? Because nobody wants to be I Goldo. I, I, you know, they, we might just leave out Goldo. <laughs> so wait, is Strahd not Ginyu running. or Frieza? Strahd, Strahd is, Strahd, well, Gin, Frieza isn't part of the Ginyu force. Yeah, but is, yeah, but like, is Strahd He's the leader? Frieza. He's or, Frieza, okay? okay? Um, so you guys head to the open room? Yes. Yeah. All right. 
you step into this room and you see dark, low shapes thrust up out of the still brackish water that fills this 50-foot square room, the ceiling of which is festooned with hanging chains that look like thick, black web strands. A balcony set into the north wall overlooks the room and has two large thrones atop it, with a red velvet curtain behind them. I run back out of the room. So yeah, you see dark low shapes that are in the water, somewhere around some kind of objects in the water, and you see there's a big old throne. No one's sitting in the thrones. They appear empty. Just two What's your chairs overlooking the room. Did you want to be up out of the way? Uh -huh. Okay, sorry. My I'm gonna be probably sitting there for a while. No, I just finished it. Would Find you like something to you guys? cool. Uh, so I just back out of the room and go to the stairs. All right. Creepy room was more than the lawn you wanted to do. <laughs> I say there was nothing. Sure. That's a giant room. Pretty sure there's something inside it. Nah. I trust you. I do a thumbs up. All right, we're not checking out the big creepy room. Yeah, I shouldn't. Just... No. Good with yeah, that, Ashton. Just gonna say right. Yeah. Ashton's oh, yeah. gonna say Ashton's right gonna... now. Oh, pretty sure your like, twin sister like, is one hundred percent in line. Like, we're not ready to and you need to do me a favor and fill in my room for me. What was that, Andy? Wait, what? What was that, Zach? Oh, I lean over to Ashton and I tell him, like, I know Zach's not there, but... He's right here. Yeah, He's actually looking over the I'm like, oh. what? Okay. Ashton, I'm pretty, I'm 100% sure your sister is lying, so I'm going to need you to do me a favor and go in that room. Give him the what? Go in that room. The dark one? Yeah. Are we looking for the exit? Why are we looking for shit? We're looking for shit to help us kill Strahd and all get us out of here faster. We're not ready. Okay, sure, whatever. But if, you start, if I start seeing creepy shit, I'm leaving. All right, Ashton, you step time. into the room with the dark shapes in the water and the balcony that has chairs, mm -hmm. two large thrones with the red velvet curtain behind them. Mm -hmm. What do you want to check out? Um, let's check out, you said the red velvet curtain. That's up on a balcony, uh, pretty high up. Can I get up there or no? It's seven feet above the water, so you might need a boost. Got it. What else is there again? I'm sorry. There's chains hanging around the room. There's dark shapes in the water. Dark shapes in the water. They're under the water. You don't really see what, can't make out what they are without getting closer. Fine, I go back in. What's in the water? You go up to check them out? Yeah. All right. The dark shapes in the water are racks, iron maidens, stocks, and other instruments of torture. The skeletons Whoa. of their last victims lie within them, their jaws seemingly frozen open, silent screams. And as you step further into the room, some of the shapes begin to rise out of the water. And you see these desiccated, gray, slimy, undead figures, humans. Begin to snarl and come towards you, their arms climbing upwards through the water. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh, dang. This is why I wanted to leave the room alone. Sorry. Ah, that's a seven. Okay. Respectable. Me. Nee. Gosberg? Three. Three. Total. All right. All right. 
Okay, that's normal. That's an Ellsberg average. Um, Ashley, yeah. as you guys have gone further into the room and checked out the stuff, Ooh. zombies have appeared in the room. Huh? Oh, that's what oh, some of the you shapes know what? are. That's, that's perfect. You know, the thing I said I wanted to avoid, like getting into fights. Roll initiative. Oh, I took a, a D20 like that's okay. You do have a sword that's extra good against undead. Is it the flame sword? It is the glowy sword. The sun sword. The sun sword, yeah, my lightsaber. Eight, or what's my plus three, so yes. eleven. Alright. Ashton, you go first. Oh, you have your sword course. ready. Uh, yeah, alright. How, how, how many zombies am I looking you at? You see six zombies. Okay. Alright, I guess I'll go for the one closest to me. And do a little bit of a whacking. And a whapping. That's a whacking. Whappin'. Um. So, fun fact, uh, you never wrote down Sun Sword, so you can write down Sun Sword in your attacks. Yes. And instead of your normal plus six, uh -huh. the Sun Sword is a magical weapon, so you get a bonus to hit and your damage. And I'm going to find that for you right now. So, it will instead, I believe, be a plus eight. Because it is a plus two weapon. Okay. And it will do a D8. One D8. Plus your strength or dex, which are the same. It's plus three. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the fun extra bit, and you know this because you are attuned to it at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, you can add this wherever you want, really. Uh, when you hit an undead with it, the target takes an extra D8 of radiant damage. Oh. Uh. It is also a long sword, so technically you can wield it with two hands and do a D10 of damage instead of a D8. Would that be more effective? <laughs> you doing anything with the other hand? Probably not, no. All right, then. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I would probably... I think, I, I think I'm going to go for the full swing here. Okay. Uh, what was the extra? So D8 plus three, uh -huh. and then or D10 plus three. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to swing at one of these zombies with the short sword? I'm gonna swing at the sun sword. Hmm? I was gonna swing it with the sun sword. All right, swinging it with the sun sword. Roll and roll and attack roll. Whoop. God. I'm gonna do this one. You're right. doing that on purpose, I swear. <laughs> no one drops dice on the floor as much as you do. All right. Uh, what is it? Plus? Plus eight. <laughs> I mean... Ah, yes, that'll do the trick, yes. <laughs> yeah, 26 will definitely get the job done. Alright. Uh, so you can it's roll a, a D10 and a D8. Okay. Uh, this is a D8, right? Yeah. Yes. And then the D10 would be... This one. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. Sorry, it's been a hot minute. Alright, so 4 on the D10, and 5 on the D8. Plus 3. Plus 3 on the D8. Actually, no, plus 5, because it's a plus 2 weapon. So plus it's, a, it's to attack and damage, so you can erase that plus 3, and it's a plus 5. Plus 5. So it's 14 points of damage. Okay. Yeah. Ashton <sighs> runs up. Um, Ashton, roll another D20 for me. You can totally roll that one that you just dropped on the floor, as long as it doesn't end up back on the floor. Oh, okay, that. well, that's hidden under the book. So that's a 16. Plus whatever. No, not plus anything. Oh, uh, one of the arms from the zombie is severed. You run up and just cut its arm off. Okie dokie. Can't do much about arms now, can you? Oh, you'll see. Or sort of something cheesy. Um... Ashton, you are level 5. You have a second attack. Let's fucking keep going, man. I'm going to put my arm my hand here. Please. Okay. 9 plus, what you said, 8? Yep. 17. 17. That'll hit. Get another, those dice. Yep. <laughs> okay. So 5 on the 8 and 2 on the 10. 12 points of damage. 12 points, yeah. All right, you deal another 12 points of damage to this zombie. Uh, roll another d20 to me, for me. <laughs> uh, 
a natural one. Yeah. There's, you cut off one of the zombie's legs. So now it's it's got it, and it's like it's unbalanced. So it's got one leg and it's hopping, and then the other arm is like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Valanya, it is your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna use the magical sword, and I'm gonna go up to the one that Ashton was attacking. Is this? Is this um, let me interrupt. Is this like the nat twenty? That is the twenty. Okay, I was like, what the heck? That's the critical um, roll symbol. What was that? Do you, uh is th- how many are there and how close? There are, are six. Like, can I can I attack one without attacking the one that Ashton is next to while also being next to Ashton? Sure. Okay. So I'm attacking a different one than Ashton, but I'm gonna. Yeah, you're attacking Ashton. the one that's close to Ashton. Yeah. Oh, Nat twenty. Um. All right, second you get next twenty. Attack. Yeah. Oh, and I'm gonna use the short sword. That's the magic. The new short sword. Pick. All right, it is a yeah. plus one short sword. All right. Imagine if it was uh, cursed. That would be so bad to use that right now. Um. Okay. So two d six, right then. Okay. Two. Six. You get to um, double your sneak attack too. Right. Um. I'm looking to see what that is right now. Okay, it's three d six. So, so six so far, mm-hmm. plus. No, no. Yes, six so far plus four, so uh, plus one, so. So eleven so far. Eleven points of damage, and now you get to do sixty six of damage. Yes. Six. Eight. Nine. Twelve. 18. 22. One more. One more. Yeah. Uh, 26. 26 points of damage. So 26 plus 11. 26 point plus 11. All right. You run up and kill that zombie yes. as you shove this glowing sword. Both of you, both of the twins with glowing swords. Yeah. The zombie falls. Go dead. team venture. <laughs> Splooshes in the water and so kind of floats. One down, five to go, and one's kind of hopping around. Or that one we just one is hopping around, and it's his turn. Oh. Uh, oh no. Sad day when stumbling undead are faster than Gosberg. <laughs> it's every day. All right. When stumbling so, undead are faster than Gosford. Oh, uh, Ashton, you. this zombie tries to claw you with its remaining claw. With its one hand. With its one good hand. And it gets an 18 to hit. Yep. You take five... Uh, no, I rolled the wrong dice. Do I have 45 health points? or 95? You do have 45. 45. Okay, I was like, whoa. If I have 95, that's a little OP. You take 5 points of damage from this claw. Okay. As it claws at you. Alright. And then... Does a 13 hit your AC? No. Okay. Uh... From under the water, you feel another. You feel the other severed claw trying to grab that you thing is... and claw at you. God. And you look under the water and you see you see the claw, the left uh, claw. Do I kick it? Or... Yeah, you kick it away before it manages to truly get its claws in you. Uh, you see these zombies have claws. They got some. They got some fingernails. Uh, and the leg, the severed leg that you cut off, is. Hopping around you, mm-hmm. and it like bumps you, <laughs> sort of like the Black Knight comedically, uh, but <laughs> just kicks me in the butt. <laughs> doesn't actually, yeah, it kicks you in the butt. Just hops and then boom. doesn't. It doesn't manage to actually do any harm to you. Um, the other zombies are going to attack uh, the rest of you. Uh, actually, that zombie still has a bite, so he's going to attempt to bite you, Ashton. Uh, and that Ashton, was a, don't get bit, otherwise we might have to, to mercy hit. kill you. Yep. Does that mean I'm going to be infected? It's four points of damage to you. Uh, okay, so 36, okay. 
Belanya, two of the zombies are going to attempt to attack you. These are yes. fresh zombies. So two claw attacks. Okay. That was a 11 to hit. Mm-hmm. And a 21. Yes. Um, Three points of damage from the claw. Okay. And then a bite attack. That's a 15 to hit. That just hit. And that deals two points of damage. Alright. So you take five points of damage total. Total. Yes. From that zombie. Okay. Um, That one zombie. Okay, what's the next one? The next one makes two claw attacks. Got an 18 to hit and a 12 to hit. All right, the 18 hits 12. And then with its bite, it got an 18 to hit. All right. That was it. That's it. Uh, that's two more points of damage from each, so four points of damage total. Okay, so nine points total, right? Yes. Um, I'm going to uncanny dodge the bite. One of those? All right. So yeah. we'll call that... Seven points of damage. Yeah. Yay, um, okay. you save yourself two yeah. points. Yes. Well, I mean, like, it's... I use it once a turn, right? I need that or I can. I need it. Uh, Gosberg, watch, two... the, watch this fight go down, and, like, <laughs> the line is the only one that is alive with two points of health. Well, the other the other two right. zombies are going to attack you, Gosberg, as well, you charge funny. into the room. Uh, with its... The first one with its claws only manages to get a 10 at its highest. Ah, you cannot get past my maddening metal! Yeah, you hold your shield up and it, its claws get caught. And then with a 19, it comes at you with its bite. <laughs> you just going to put that in the sink? Okay. Uh, which still doesn't hit, does it? Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you only roll two for the bite, or? Uh, that was a 19 for its bite. Oh, uh, yeah, that would okay. not hit. That does not hit? All right. Okay. So what's the um, fill it? The second zombie is going to make its strikes two claws. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. I will hit. Wait, I, I'm wearing plus one armor, 22. right? 22. You're not wearing plus one armor. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, that will You do not hit. have the plus one armor in this game. It's actually a 22. I did my math wrong. So that's one claw what attack that hits. Yeah, okay. And then it, it, that one's bite misses. Got it. So you got hit with a bite and a claw from two separate zombies. Got it. Uh, however, you do have the great armor master feat. Heavy armor. You still have that in this yeah. version. So it's minus so, three as long as it's not magical. So minus three. So the claw attack actually bounces. It, it doesn't manage to get through your armor. Yeah. The bite attack, as it bites into your armor... <laughs> Uh, you take one point of damage total. Yeah. <laughs> Not that one point. That one point of damage will do it. I'm <laughs> sad now. I went from 69 HP Damn. to 68 HP. There's no joke How could there. You huh? How could you hurt? How could you bring him down? Oh, he's he we're was all infected. Now we're all infected. He was living the sweet life at 69 for too long. <laughs> um. Now I got a 69, for- dude. Gosberg, it is now your turn. Okay, uh, well, you I'm somehow got a slower than the zombies what? that have awful initiative. I just want to point that out. Shut up. Okay. Uh, did I mention how much I love you, Harper? Anyway, so <laughs> I'm going oh. to uh, attack. Um. I'm going to attack one of the zombies. I guess the one that tried to bite me but failed. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, I have two attacks because I'm level five, right? Yes. You Am do. I getting that right? Oh, cool. I'll that swing my first attack. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a 17 to hit. Wait. That'll, that'll wait. hit. No, I'm not even proficient. 20 to hit. That'll still hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, I will swing my second attack. It's going to be a 18 to hit. 18 will also hit. Okay, cool, cool. I'll roll it for damage, and I believe it is 8 plus 1, correct? 
That is, yeah, it is correct. That is a D8 yeah. plus one when you're building one. D8 plus one. Okay. Just make it sure it's going to work. Hello? Hello? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Did, did you tell okay, us? Okay, yeah. Sorry. No, my, my, my internet cut out for a second. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, all right. So I was uh, just check. I could like I could still see you guys, but I didn't think uh, you guys could hear me. Okay. Okay. Cool. So uh, yeah. Do your damage. Okay. So first one is going to be uh, uh, eleven points of damage. Eleven points of damage. Okay. Second one is going to be. I'm trying to think. Uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage. All right. So seventeen points of damage total. Yes. I need you to roll two d twenty. 20s. All right. Uh, you only roll them separately or at the same time? Roll them at the same time. Okay. That's going to be 16 and a 15. 16 and a 15? You knock off both of this zombie's arms. Oh, lovely. As you hit it, it's, it's just so wet and goopy and not held together anymore that its arms just come off and it's just like uh <laughs> um its arms are currently in the water <laughs> um now it is uh i i didn't roll for them so i'm gonna put them on your turn Cosberg. Uh, Piddlewick and Emil are gonna go. Uh, so Emil, I don't know what he can do off the top of my head. So Piddlewick is gonna go first. Uh, you see Piddlewick, who is who is barely cresting his head over the water, <laughs> uh, since he's so tiny. Uh, you see Piddlewick. Take he has a little pouch of darts, like throwing darts, like you would have at a bar. Um, mm -hmm. Just kind of on a little pouch on his uh, on his hip, and you see he loads one of those into his mouth. I forgot Hila. <laughs> you did forget Hila, and you can make an attack with Hila as a bonus action. Okay. Well, are you? What, what, what's is... Piddlewick takes a dart, loads it into his mouth. Closes his mouth and you hear a whirring. Yeah. Wheelit is not hit. Um, uh, you see, and you see, Piddlewick takes aim at one of the zombies uh, that the, the zombie that Gosberg just knocked the arms off of, and you hear a and a and the dart that Piddlewick just loaded into its mouth. Flies out and hits and flies towards the zombie. Uh, and that is a that is that is a seventeen to hit for Piddlewick. Is our uh, new companion? I'm not going to say friend because I don't think we make friends. It hits the zombie right in the eyeball, <laughs> and there's a dart sticking out of it that you see is moving around as the zombie looks around. <laughs> Oh, Piddlewick actually has advantage in the first round of combat. So let's see if he gets a net 20. He doesn't. All right. Next up is Emil. Mm All right, you guys did not brandish him with any weapons, uh, and he doesn't have the spear listed in his stat block because <laughs> he was unarmed and in a cage. He is wet, he is cold, and he is tired of this bullshit. So he is going to use his action, and you see the yep. skin begin to... 
as he his body ripples and transforms unnaturally. I knew it. And I knew he it. Becomes a werewolf. I already called it. He, my, he, my, when you asked me he was in a werewolf, he was like, his response was, I promise I won't hurt you. Like, what the For the sake of this, we'll say he takes wolf form. Okay. And that is his action. All right. He take that takes his whole action to do that to turn into a wolf. Um. Uh, next up is back at the top of the round with Zach Ashton. What do you do? There's an almost dead zombie in front of you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna finish that bastard off. <laughs> How? I didn't even How roll you it. You didn't even roll it that time. All right, I'll just roll this one real quick. Learn to roll the dice. There we go. Learn to roll the dice. What? What is my thing again? Plus eight. Yeah. Okay, so like. It's a twenty to hit. Yeah, yeah. it's a twenty. Yeah. All right. Cool. With your strength alone, I can tell you that you you kill this zombie if you hit the same one you already did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you cut it in twine right through the head. Make sure not to miss any parts. Okay. <laughs> that one falls, splooshes into the water. Uh, you can take a shot at one of the ones. So there's four zombies remaining. All right. You can hit one of the ones that is attacking Gosberg or one of the two that's attacking Bologna. I'll do one of the ones Before Melania, Gosberg has been up to tank zombies. Hmm? He's talking about he can take some tank Yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I'll, I'll, I'll help Melania with one. Okay. Save your sister. Save, Save your her. Sister. All right. That's We've 21. already lost her once. I will not lose her again. <laughs> All right, you hit. Yeah. You slice at another zombie. With the sun sword. Uh, the D8 was an 8, and the D10 was a 4. So that becomes 12 plus 5, 17. 17 points yeah. Alright, 17 points of damage. Uh, you can attack with the Eli if you wish. Yes, I do. Finish her off, girl! No. <laughs> no? Eli's been taken. I, I mean, I don't think so. What dice was that? This one. Okay. Uh, Eli's. Bonus is your spell attack modifier. That's not great. Your spell attack modifier yeah, isn't that great. Modifier. That's a plus two. Plus two, <laughs> yeah. So, Hila has been taking L during this fight. All right. Sorry, girl. So, Hila does not hit um, on that one. But the owl is swooping by and swooping just out of out of reach of the zombies with the flyby at the um, I picture every time she misses... Roll gets, another d20. <laughs> it's like she gets like a little bit of like that anime anger. Like steam kind of comes out, comes out of her ear. Okay. Is this her or me? This is not an attack roll. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you, should, you should know this by now. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, with that roll... Uh, Valanya, Ashton runs up to one of the zombies that's attacking you and cuts its head off. <laughs> and the game of golf was invented. It is still standing and appears still ready to fight you. Is this fucking thing from, like, Revenge of the Sith, like, Grievous' bodyguard? You know, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, like, walk away thinking I did it, but he's still going at me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, Valanya, it is your turn. All right, I'm going to go for the one without a head. You're going for the headless one. You have the uh, yeah, you have sneak attack. Yes. Um all right. So that is a it's a plus one short turn, right? Yes. Okay. Then that is a 21. 21 with hit. Yeah. These guys aren't hard to hit, guys. But they're they're yeah. zombies. All right. Zombies. Yeah. Yeah, pretty as a bitch. Ten for the regular damage, and then sneak attack is two, seven, thirteen for a sneak attack. All right, thirteen is just what you needed. Uh, you you stab this zombie good, and then you see the head under the water, and you kick it. <laughs> uh, Ashton, you see the 
the arm and leg that were behind you in the water from the other zombie also kind of seemed to float the top dead <laughs> as you killed the body. Nice. Uh, the magical connection of these creatures seemed to die. So not all the parts have separate, the don't have separate hits. I was going to ask, are these things like, um, what's the hand from Adam's family? Thing. Thing, yeah. These are not thing. There is a monster know. stat block for thing. This isn't thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is your attack. You do have a bonus action. You are using a short sword. You have mm-hmm. an offhand attack if you wish to use it. Oh, I do. That's right. That's right. All right, so yeah, I'll roll crystal dagger one. Yeah, you flick out one of your wrist daggers from your... No, crystal dagger. Oh, you're going to crystal dagger. You use the crystal dagger you have and stab another, the other zombie that's attacking you. Yeah. That's a... What is my dagger? Uh, dagger is also... So, okay, so that's a 20... Twenty-one. Twenty-one to hit will hit. Okay. Five. Oh wait, no, I don't have sneak attack. Never mind. No sneak attack on this one. Never mind, and it's a D four. All, right. All right. So three plus four, seven. Seven points of damage to one of the other zombies, mm-hmm. and that is piercing damage. So no D twenty for you. No D. But you did not kill... Hmm. No, you did kill the other zombie. Okay, so there's only one zombie left on Bologna. Yes. All right. Yeah. What's, Next uh, up. what's, what's your Twitch thing? Bardic Inclination. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it. All right. Next up, the zombies! That remaining zombie no. is going to attack you, Bologna. With its first claw, it got a seven. With its second claw, it's going to attack Ashton, flailing about wildly. It got a natural 20. Well. And seeing you as an as an easy target now after it claws you, it is going to make a bite attack against you. And that is a 19 to hit. And I know that hits you. You don't have to say it. <laughs> Ashton, you take nine points of damage from the claw and five points of damage from the bite. So, uh, so 14, 14 points of damage. 14 points of damage. Uh, 26. 26. Okay. Alrighty. All right. I will remind you, you do have spells. <laughs> <laughs> that is, you can cast spells. To so defend me? I, I, well, I mean, you have a healing one, I know for sure. I'm like, I know I have a healing I'm realizing one. at this moment, like, hmm. I didn't, when, when I was reminding Zach how to play the game, I didn't remind him that he can do that. That I can heal myself. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's probably uh, helpful. I, I think I'm that, okay for That'll now. probably be helpful in a moment. Um, probably. Uh, the other zombies are going to continue attacking Godbird. Okay. Let the rock burn. Two I'm bites in a claw. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. The normal one is doing two bites in a claw. It gets... Its bite is awful and doesn't get you, but it gets... Yes. At its highest, a 20 to hit. Uh, I would have 20 exact... I forget it. I you have 20 exact. Remember. Plate armor remember. plus shield. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to remember, do I have plus one shield, or is that in the other game? I don't you think do so. not have that a plus one shield. Game. Yeah, I got no special armor. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's 20 exact. You take five points of piercing, of slashing damage reduced to two. Ah! Oh, you suck. Um, the other zombie, it it is armless, <laughs> and tries to bite you. Yes! It gets a 15. Yeah. You're holding you're holding one zombie off with your shield and the one that's clawing at you with your shield. The other one you hold your hammer against and it's like biting the handle of your hammer. <laughs> Isn't this weird though? I'm just imagining Dawsberg as Drax now. 
Um, meanwhile, Andy, yes, under the water. Mega Two shark. zombified hands attempt to make attack claw attacks at you. They do not succeed because they have disadvantage and they are underwater. And they yeah. are zombified hands. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, but you do hear, you feel clawing at your armor. And it is now your turn. Okay, well, I'm going to attack the one uh, that's currently. Uh, disarmed. That's going to be a 21. 21 will hit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll to see if that kills it first. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be a 9. Or nine, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10 to... What did, what did you get last time? You got like a 14 points of 17. damage. 17. I got 17 points of damage. 17. That's what I thought in my head. Um, that does not kill it. Okay, second attack. That's going to be a 12 points a day, or 12, that's 12. All right, that does it. With the first strike, it didn't have any arms left, so there was nothing else to sever. Um, but you bash it real good in the chest. Its chest goes concave, and you bring the hammer down on its head, and it's just gooey bits floating in the muck now. Yeah. Okay, that's my turn. That is your turn. Piddlewick takes aim with another dart. <laughs> and hits. Which one did he hit? The remaining zombie that is attacking Gosberg. Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, that successfully kills. That, that successfully hits. Not doesn't kill. Does it, uh, it hits the zombie. For a whopping four points of damage. Or, no, I'm looking <laughs> at the wrong stat thing. I'm still looking at the zombies. Still looking at the zombies. That That's five points of damage. It's like, and it's, it's like Better in the zombies, that. just kind of between the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf in the room now runs up to the remaining zombie near Gosberg and himself. And makes a bite attack. Uh, and hits. And does a d8 of damage. And he successfully deals some damage to that thing. Uh, and is that slashing? No, it's piercing. Never mind. Neither of these guys knock off any body parts. <laughs> uh, now it is up to you, Ashton, again. All right, what are we looking at? There's one zombie remaining. All right, he's out. His ass near Valanya, and there's another zombie by Gosman. Valanya. Yeah. Well, Gosman can take care of himself. He's fine. So that's 21. That'll hit. We're going to get you a dice tray. I've that's never good. seen the purpose of dice trays. Now I realize dice trays were invented for people like I'm like, I used to use the one you use. Yeah. Um, so 7 dice plus 5, that's 12. 12 points of damage? Yeah. All right. And then... uh, you slash it real good. Its head comes off. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, but is it that thing where it's like in body still there? The body is still up. Okay. <laughs> you know it's not down for the count. All right. I'll, try, I'll go for the body again. All right. That's 20 something. You hit again. That's 20 something. Too lazy to do the math. All right. Uh, what is that? 15? A lot of high numbers. Plus five. That's like 20 to hit. I you think. dig the sun sword into its chest and slowly it melts down and is now officially dead. Excellent. Ela still has a go. Hey. If you want to use your bonus action. Thank you. I keep forgetting about my. <laughs> I keep forgetting about Ela. I'm sorry. She has a plus two to hit. All right. 
So it's like what, 18? She hits with that? Okay. That's a D4 of damage. D4 of damage, okay. So you want to swipe at the remaining zombie that Gosberg and yeah. his allies are attacking? Yeah. Alright, what's. Does Eli have a plus? Eli has a plus of. Plus three. So six. Plus three. So plus six total. So six total, yeah. So that's nine points of damage. All right. Hila deals nine points of damage as it swoops as she swoops down on this remaining zombie who has a dart in a, between his eyebrows and just <laughs> rips off an entire part of this zombie's scalp and then continues to fly off. Uh, he is still standing. Uh, and now it is your turn, Valanya. It is the All last right. zombie. I will go after him. The last zombie. It's the final zombie. It's a zombie. I hope you don't, I, I hope, I hope you don't mind. I, I, shared our, I, uh, I shared your stream on, on Twitter. That is fine. I forgot to share it. so I'm uh, I'm, and I, and I, and I, I forgot to share my stream, so I'm completely okay with this. I think, now, <laughs> I think that brought us to three viewers. Beautiful. <laughs> Whoever else is watching, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our misery. We're currently fighting one zombie. Yeah, they're currently trapped in the, the pit of despair, or as I like to call it, Castle Ravenloft. Mm -hmm. What did you get, Quinn? Yes. Uh, I was having trouble finding my D20. I just found it. Hold on. All right, that was a natural one. Natural one. You attack the zombie with presumably the glowy short sword. You throw. She throws the sword back. Yes. Okay. All right, you miss the zombie. Can I in, do a bonus attack? You have a bonus action with the dagger. Yes. Uh, that is a um twelve. All right, with that, you bring your crystal dagger and plunge it right into the zombie. Please roll some damage for me. All right. Would this one have sneak attack, or did I use that on my field? No, you don't. It, it's once a turn. You didn't use it on your field. Okay. So. Cool. And Gosberg so, is right there, so. All right. Sixteen total. Sixteen points of damage. Mm -hmm. Alright, with that, Vlanya, you plunge your dagger into this zombie and pull away, and the zombie falls into the water. <laughs> kind of black ichor pulling out of its body. And you guys have successfully defeated the six zombies in this torture room. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, yeah. We took fucking 20, 23 points of damage from that fight. Can we leave this castle now, please? Yeah. yeah. Wait. Uh, I have a question. Uh, it, I want to. Before we go, can we look around the room for stuff? Sure. You can do that, Gosberg. Make a perception check. Yeah. Can Can I heal myself? I by the way, while doing that. Yeah, you have the spells. Your third page here. Yeah. I'm like, might as well just heal myself while I'm waiting. So you, I think, have all your spell slots. So yeah. You have yeah. Or first levels, so two second levels. Yeah. You can use Cure Wounds to heal. Yeah. I need, I need to roll a D8. D8. This one. So one use of Cure Wounds does a D8 plus your Wisdom modifier, which okay. is plus two. So, four. so that would heal you for four All if right. you use it once. If I use it once, what do you mean? Uh, just a regular first level slot. Oh. Uh, one time. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Bring right. me back up to 20, 26. So put a little check mark next to the four. Uh, not not in there, but in there, so that you know you used one of your slots. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Gosworth, what would you get? I got four. Four. There's Iron Maidens and Torture Racks in this room. Oh, I would like to take uh, it. You don't know what's on the, up on the balcony? Uh, besides the thrones, because you, you haven't been up there. Okay. Cool. I will go up there and uh, and peek behind the curtain. All right. You 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 need a boost from someone to get up there, but you can do it. Okay. So I'm gonna give her a boost. Gosberg. <laughs> I will give Bologna a boost using my manly arms, covering in my manly metal. Okay. All right. You give Bologna a boost, and she walks over to the curtain. Uh, Quinn. 
you yes. go and check out behind the curtain. I'm back on area stuff, so now I gotta look. You peek behind the curtain. <laughs> you see this room is a 30 feet square, rising to a 20 foot tall flat ceiling. A stone brazier burns fiercely in the center of the room, but its tall white flame produces no heat. The rim of the brazier is carved with seven cup-shaped indentations spaced evenly around the circumference. <laughs> See, I'm breaking stuff in there. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> They're, fine. Um, They're little hoodlums. Within... <laughs> I love Chuck as the switch is there. <laughs> <'Cause> I have... <laughs> it's like, was now the time that the Legos needed to come out? <laughs> <laughs> Really, I'm not playing at Zach's house again. Like, <laughs> he needs to play with headphones, and I need to not be here. <laughs> yeah. Love this family. <laughs> this is horrible for recording. <laughs> Zach, return as you can, or you will miss things as I describe them to you with my narrative wonder. Within each indentation is a spherical stone, twice the diameter of a human eye, and made of a colored crystal. No two stones are the same color. Overhead, a wood-framed hourglass, as tall and wide as a dwarf, hangs ten feet above the brazier, suspended from the ceiling by thick iron chains. All the sand is stuck in the upper portion of the hourglass seemingly unable to run down into the bottle. Written in glowing script on the base of the hourglass is a verse that you can read. Two nine-foot-tall iron statues of knights on horseback, poised to charge with swords drawn, stand deep in alcoves facing each other. The brazier sits between them. That is what you see, Valanya. I go in and read the thing. You step into the room and read the thing. All right, let me check something. Um, all right, cool. Uh, you read the thing. Uh, the rest of you are kind of waiting to see if Alanya comes out. Well, you're still in the water, I guess. Uh, it reads, Cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain's spire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red if lore is what you seek. Green to where the coffins hide. Indigo to the master's bride. Blue to ancient magic's womb. Yellow to the master's tomb. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh shit, I don't have anything to write with. Um Hey Bubbles. Hey Bubbles. Say hi. Let's say hi. Say hi. Hello. He's like, oh my god, you took ensnaring strike? You you took fine traps. Philip, roll oh the twenty. Gosh, you, oh, roll please. for initiative. Like Philip, roll for initiative. It's like you don't know what you're doing, Dad. <laughs> These stats are garbage. <laughs> cool. Actually, these are pretty good. I know I'm joking. Uh, I'm just saying. Like, right. I'm like, I'm like is this the one where I, I when we were creating Ashen, very... it was re- I, I weirdly was rolling really well. That was Kamali. Kamali. Oh. So, I, I just like the idea of Philip just like yeah. berating you <laughs> for your choices. God, so Daddy, Violet he was took, he took 26 uh, to damage for a zombie against zombies. Yeah. Oh my. Those were not regular zombies, by the way. Those were straw zombies. Ooh. And I'm very happy you got to fight them because they're very interesting. <laughs> um, uh, Violet is to the mountain's peak. So cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain's fire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red, if floor is what you seek. Green to where wait, the Wait, wait, I'm going to try and write these down. So. Huh? I want to write these down. So. Violet leads to the mountain's spire. <laughs> Okay. Orange to the castle's peak. 
Okay. Is he gonna follow your tradition of knocking all of my dice to the floor immediately and then turn it ever thing? Because I don't hey, let's not have that happen. All and right. also let's take the time ones. I mean yeah. that's actually not a he's gonna Okay. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of edible dice here. Oh, now you want to say? He's oh, like, now you now you want to play, huh? All right, I'll give you a fiddle lick. Um, I'll give you a fiddle lick. <laughs> give me a fiddle lick. Okay, no, yeah, no, fiddle no. lick can't talk. This is a perfect opportunity. Right, I'll, for... I'll take the little ones out. Yeah, I yeah. Um, those are probably actually the ones that would cause the least complications if you ate them. Uh, <laughs> what's the next? Uh, uh, orange leads to the castle's peak. Mm-hmm. Red, if lore is what you seek. Okay. Green, to where the coffins hide. Indigo, to the master's bride. Blue, to ancient magic's room. Yellow, to the master's tomb. Uh, blue to ancient what? Blue to ancient magic's woo. Okay. Yellow to the master's too. And as you read that, you see that there is a stone, one of those four-inch stones, or two and a three and a half inch stones. I don't know how big is it. This big stones. Uh, that match the colors of each that is listed in that verse. Okay. Uh, so, can I do an arcana check and see, like, the fire, if if I could, like, contain it somehow or if you carry what? it with me? Contain it somehow or carry it with me or something? Carry it? You don't no, it's not providing any heat, so you know it is magical. Uh, okay. But you can make an arcana check. Okay. Uh, that is a... Hello. Currently, the fire is white. Okay, what was white again? White is nothing. It's not listed in the poem in the verse. Oh, what was the last one then? The last one is yellow. Yellow, okay. To the master's two. All right. So, hmm. I'm going to... Is the fire in, like, a bowl, or is it, like... It is in a brazier. A large could brazier. I, could I feasibly pick up the brazier? No, it's very big. I have it a... takes up an entire ten-foot space. Oh, oh, that's huge. Okay. With the indentations around it that each have a stone. I'm going to take all the stones. Hey guys, I got to go, okay? Alright. Alright. You take the stones. Yes. Do you go back to the party? I pop my head out and I say, come up here. I think we have a way out. Valanya tells you that you may have a way out. Really? Care to share? I will if you come up. Uh-oh. We lost Gosberg. He's, he'll be back. Oh, okay. All right. What's up? All right. You guys uh, yep. helping each other up. Yep. That's what you got to stop. <laughs> All right. You're going to go to your mom. That's it. Go to your mom. It's a one-strike rule over here. Yep. Go to your mother. <laughs> oh, he's going. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Uh, share. So you guys uh, help each other up. Piddlewick first, and mm-hmm. then just kind of muscling and pull. You guys all, you and Emil have to work together to pull up Gosper. Me and Emil have to pull up because he's a very. Is heavy... Emil still a verbal form, by the way? He turned back into a human. <laughs> all right. Uh, you go uh, into the red curtain and you see uh, you see this brazier burning with white fire that Valanya has seen. Now I'm assuming oh 
I'm assuming that we only get one chance right now. So. Okay, Osberg is out for good. Um, yeah, so, we'll so I have everyone grab hands. All right, everyone grabs hands. What do you do? And then I the throw verse said, in. You cast a stone into the fire. So which one do you toss? Yes. Um, so I'm making sure that everyone is connected to me while I do that. Okay. Um, I throw in the red one. You throw in red. Yes. Which is. Lore. Red if lore is what you see. Mm -hmm. You throw in the red stone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the brazier, as you throw that in, the fire in the brazier begins to glow with a red color and changes mm -hmm. from white. And you see the sand begins to pour in the hourglass. Okay. It's going down quickly. All right. One fifth of the sand has reached the bottom of the hourglass. Okay. I jump into the fire. You jump into the fire. Valanya touches the fire, and the moment she does, Valanya disappears. Okay. Well, wouldn't hurt to wouldn't hurt to fall behind. I call her in. You and Ela touch the fire. And then I assume Gosberg falls <laughs> from there too. Gosberg. Oh, I don't like the magic. <laughs> and him and Piddlewick touch the fire. You're all dead now. <laughs> <laughs> and, that's the end of, and that's the end of Curse of Strahd. Um, Congratulations, you all no, died. No, I'm good. Uh, so you guys... What about a meal? So you guys up here. Volanya, you first. Mm -hmm. What about a meal? Hmm? You don't see a meal go. You went first. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I don't trust him. <laughs> yeah. I live by my philosophy. Never trust a werewolf. Bologna, in a flash of red fire, you appear in this room. And moments later, Ashton, Ela, Piddlewick, and Gosberg all appear with you. Lacking a mm -hmm. meal. <laughs> you see, you are indoors. A blazing hearth fills this room with rolling waves of red and amber light. The walls are lined with ancient books and tomes, their leather covers well-oiled and preserved through careful use. All is in order here. The stone floor is concealed beneath a thick, luxurious rug. In the center of the room is a large, low table, waxed and polished to a mirrored finish. Even the poker in its stand next to the blazing fireplace is polished. Large, overstuffed divans and couches are arranged about the room. Two pairs of burgundy-colored wood with padded leather seats and back cushions face the hearth. A huge painting hangs over the mantelpiece in a heavy gilded frame. The rolling firelight illuminates the carefully rendered portrait. It is an exact likeness of Irina Koliana. Oh. Is this the oh, person no. you're trying to rescue? Yes. So you see this chamber? He asked if this is Would the you person have... you're trying to rescue. And it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. You see the door, the chamber has several exits, including a large set of double doors in the west wall and a door at each end of the north wall and a door to the south. You guys have ended up in a study somewhere. 
I just want to leave. <laughs> I just want to go home. I'm sorry, guys. I thought maybe it would take us out of the out of the castle to the lore. <laughs> and you see plenty of lore. There's books galore. <laughs> yes, I'm just I'm just not sure if we're still in the castle. Are we still in the castle? I'm fairly certain we're still in the castle. <laughs> you look at the the stone floor. If it's a study, I mean, yeah, it's very fancy. Probably, maybe. Um, like, I'm, I'm like, we see, we see like a chair, and it says like Strahd, like there's a sign there or something. Strahd's chair, yeah. do not sit. <laughs> yeah. All um, right. I'm like, it's at this moment, uh, uh, Ashton just has a, not, not has like a panic attack, I would say, but it's like reflecting in me like, what I wouldn't give to be, to be at Bill Mee's, oh <laughs> what do we call it, Weedery? Dispensary in general, good store. <laughs> Dispensary in general, good store. Uh, so with that, you guys have teleported to another part of Castle Ravenloft, and we'll end there. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. I think, yeah, you guys got out of the crisps, so that's progress. But now we're closer to Strahd, which we probably don't want. So... What time of day is it? What time of day You're is inside, it? so you don't know. You can't, can't really tell. And it's plus, prob- it, it's and probably daytime. I think you guys went specifically. And then plus, also, isn't it like like foggy, like pretty much twenty four seven now in Barovia? It is. Yeah, so, so you, you can't can really tell what time of day. You can at least tell when it's night. Or day. Yeah, night or day. That's about it. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, yeah. thank you, thank you uh, for checking this out. I, I would have liked to go a little bit longer, but we lost Andy, and uh, that seems like a good ending point. Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, yeah. I mean, we'll party. You said we'll party. Try to reschedule this week. Next maybe. time we will pick up, and you guys will continue trying to escape Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.